big cleanup in Oak Park this afternoon. A fire tore through part of a strip mall and it took so much water put to put that fire out that nearby homes were flooded. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us live from the mall with how everything looks right now. Kelly. That's right, and the cleanup continues at this hour. Uh, take a look here behind me. You can see the damage here uh, at the strip mall. We're told that seven businesses are here and four were destroyed in the fire, including a barber shop. Now, the owner didn't want to go on camera, but the tenant who used to be located right next door to him, who had just moved out a few days ago, did talk to us. And here's what he said. We all know each other. Uh, we all talked with each other. We all prayed with each other. Um, uh, yes, so it's a very uh, close knit. So I'm feeling his pain uh, uh, because he's he's lost a lot. I'm feeling his pain. At the same time, I'm I'm rejoicing that I uh, chose to move out just in time. I had no idea that this was going to happen. Now here's video of what it looked like out here shortly after the fire started. Uh, this was a scene right around 4 a.m. Uh, firefighters got several 911 calls about a dumpster fire. The flames spread so quickly that when crews arrived, the building was already on fire. About 100 firefighters worked to put out the flames. Uh, they had ladder crews working to attack the fire from up above. Now they were able to put out this fire and save three of the businesses, uh, but it took a lot of water, hundreds of thousands of gallons, according to one of the fire chiefs we talked to and all of that water had to go somewhere. So it went down the hill and flooded some of the homes located directly behind this strip mall. Uh, you could see it eroded the hillside and just left a muddy mess behind. Now we spoke to one of the neighbors who lives in one of those homes, Jordan Novin. He had just come home from working at the airport and was about to go to sleep when he got a reverse 911 call. I was just about to go to sleep. I get that call and I'm like, I'm sorry, what did you say? There's a fire going on. I kind of chuckled a little bit and then I looked out my backyard and I was like, oh yeah, there's a bright orange hue. So by the time I woke my father up, there was about three, four feet of water in the back of my backyard going down from the hillside. And there was a retaining wall there in his backyard that was destroyed. Uh, he had, did have crews out there today pumping the water out from underneath his home. His neighbors were doing the same. Uh, city crews came out as well. Uh, we just had rain this week, so the ground was already wet. And unfortunately, though, it does sound like insurance will cover this damage. So back out here live, Jordan had a good attitude about all of this. You know, he said it, it's a little bit of a headache to have to deal with this, but he was just so grateful to the firefighters that they were able to put out that fire. Heather and Carlo. All right, Kelly has it all. Glad to see they got it worked out. Hopefully they are covered. It looks like things are in control now, though. Thanks, Kelly.